Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Call the Recreation Committee to order. Are we expecting Suji to be here? Yes. She's, I saw her tonight. She has a quick presentation for the committee. Oh. Just to update the group on programming that type of thing. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I know what uh, I know. You know all of us. Do, you know Don. I do. Hi, yes. Don. Hi. Okay. You know Kathy. I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. I remember you. <laughs> We're ready for you. Though. All right. Wonderful. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Yeah, I can move it off. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Can you see it? Or should we turn it a little bit? That's fine. That's okay. All right. We'll start started. Water for your classes this time. Yeah? Do I eat this? Everybody turn it off. Find out if one of these overrides you. No? Are you still here? You on? Switch it up? Yeah. Put that one here. Summer. We changed a little bit this last summer. We added more science um, 
classes or tips and, or programs for the kids. We did a library program. We went to the library, checked out books. Um, we continue with our Wacky Wednesdays, our Thursday field trips, and that kind of stuff. Now we'll jump to our adult education. Um, here's a few of the highlights. The scope, strength, cardio burst, and boom, boom, burn, yoga, taekwondo. And then a few of our adult activities. This is what we did this year, is we added our adult activities on a consecutive night. So every Wednesday night we had men's basketball, volleyball will start every Friday night, so it's like a consistent night. Seems to be a little more popular in parents on our getting the word out to our town. The senior activities, of course, is very popular for us as well. Again, we do something sports-wise and then something educational-wise. Um, selling on eBay and the tablet class was really huge. This um, just, we just finished a class this fall, this fall winter season, um, and that continues to grow. The senior activities is really fun. Um, I guess they did. We did a golf outing this year together with a bunch of seniors. We did a Brewers game together, so they're continuing to grow and work together as um, fun team. Special needs activities are growing as well. Um, we're with Sandy Espinson on this one. Um, our special needs dance, I think we had close to 75 um, special needs kids check in on the Halloween dance in October, plus the caregivers. So we had over a couple hundred people at Waterford High School um, dancing to our, our DJ. Um, and of course we offered um, Zumba classes, and then we have now we have Friday night open gym nights. I threw this slide up here to just to show our numbers, just our rough numbers, where we were in 29, 2010, and then where we are in 2012, 2013. As you can see, we're only halfway through the season. It's, it's you know December, and we still have to go through August, so we're well over halfway above our uh, participation rate for our fiscal year. This slide I threw in here because I wanted to show we have over 51 instructors that work for the Waterford Recreation Program, and half of them are Waterford Union High School, school students. So we're just hiring from within. It's great to see those kids participate and it's their first job interview. It's just wonderful. Um, in addition to all the programs we offer at the Waterford Recreation, we also offer the services. So for instance, we book all the facility usages inside and outside of our grounds. So um, you know everything from the baseball teams outside and the baseball diamond to um, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, the 4-H clubs, all those all those um, clubs and organizations. So we're seeing through our community on our ground over 3,000 people per year, not including the Bloom Fest, which brought in 30,000 people this year. We also offer a service, um, a free community event every year, which is called the Health and Wellness Fair. We do it in January, it's January 25th. We get all kids, all, um, all of our, all basically our instructors to donate their time, Taekwondo instructors, Zumba, cardio apps, everything. Um, and we'll have, um, we also do um, a non perishable item for a food pantry here in Waterford. That's coming up in January 25th. We are very involved in the community. Um, we also do a few booths to the Home and Commerce Show. At the Balloon Fest, of course, we have activity for the kids. We work with the formal Moon and Myler. Um, at Check In, Fall Harvest Fest, we have a booth and a bouncy house and so forth. So we're getting the word out there who the Waterford Recreation Program is. Um, we're also involved in our community with the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Um, we, as, you, so, as some of you might know, we, we had um, an Eagle Scout project, do a few projects for us. Right now I'm working with the Girl Scouts on a Take Action project, a Gold Award, and a Bronze Community project. The online registration, over last year, we, you guys proved that registration, the online registration now is working out really wonderfully. Um, we're having more and more registrations online. Um, and the registered seats part that they have new profiles so people who sign up for the first time is extremely growing it to unbelievable rates, which is nice to see. So we're not always entering from behind the scenes, they're all new profiles coming in. They're just doing it automatically by themselves. It's an online secured system and so forth. I have some numbers on that if you want to see those. I just did a quick slide on marketing just to show you where we're all picking, trying to hit. Um, obviously, just the Waterford Village, the Waterford High School. Um, it's an email blast out to our to our kids here. Um, the post up and coming of our feeder schools we connect with as well. And that is all I have for you tonight. Any questions? Thank you very much. Uh, great. Any questions?
question. Thank you.